Hey everyone, just going to show you some battery basics on this 2015 uh, Silverado. Pop the hood on your Chevy Silverado. Hood release is right here in the middle under the steering column. And then as you look at the truck, just go slightly to the left here. There's a little um, tab that sticks up. Just move it to the center of the truck and lift up. Battery is located right here on the passenger side near the firewall. Uh, if you were looking to jump your Silverado, you would actually just raise this cover right here. There's a little tab on the side, pull it out, and that comes up. And you would have your positive cable hooked to the positive cable on the vehicle that, has, that it's running, and put your positive cable there, and you can attach your negative cable right to the negative battery cable here. If you wanted to do some electrical work on your car, and you needed to disconnect the battery, you want to disconnect the negative cable, and you can use a 10 millimeter wrench and loosen this 10 millimeter nut. Better tool is a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and a ratchet. Loosen that up. And then pull the negative cable. And twist it a little bit, pull it up and off and to the side. If you're looking to remove the battery, you're gonna to want to remove this brace. And there's two 13 millimeter bolts on the top and then a 13 millimeter bolt right here as well. Now you'll want to disconnect the positive cable. There's a 10 millimeter nut here. Loosen that. Best way is with a 10 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. You could also use a wrench but you always want to be very careful not to touch the wrench to any other metal when you have it on the positive cable. Then make sure the cable will move a little bit. And then you want to pull this whole assembly up. Um, you can kind of push this cover to the, over towards the center of the engine bay and pull up, pull it off. And then there's a tab on the way over here on the side. You have to kind of go down and get a finger, fingernail underneath it and release it. And then use a little flat blade screwdriver tab here in the center. Work the screwdriver underneath there. Pry it and pull up. And then there's one closer towards the front of the vehicle. Pry again pull up and once you get this loose then again kind of work your positive cable up and off and then you're now disconnected from the battery take this and just pull it off to the side and now there's a 13 millimeter bolt that you need to remove right down here best to use a 13 millimeter socket an extension and a ratchet and remove that 13 millimeter bolt. The bolt and the hold down come up and out. In order to get the battery up and out, you'll want to just kind of move your coolant bottle to the side. There are two bolts that hold it. So one's right here and then the other one is right down in here. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and a ratchet. And remove that. This bolt is a little harder to get to, so I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench. Go from right underneath. All right, now the coolant bottle can just kind of push up and out of your way. And unfortunately, somebody removed the handle to this battery. If you had the handle, slide it forward and then bring it up and out. When you install your new battery or install any battery, just make sure your terminals are clean with a battery terminal brush. And then also clean out your cables. Make sure you get a good solid contact. You can use a brush or something. I'm just going to use a shop vac and then just vacuum out any needles and debris.
have my cameraman help me a little bit here. Might want to have somebody hold that bottle off the side. And again, if this had the handle on it, it'd be a lot easier. Put it down in place. Make sure we don't damage anything. Get the negative battery cable out of the way. And slide the battery into place. All right, just make sure you have the right battery. Your terminal should be close to the fender. Positive should be forward. Negative should be in the back. And then we're gonna put the coolant reservoir bottle hardware back on. Push the back down onto the stud. And install the 10 millimeter nut. And then install the 10 millimeter bolt on the front. All right, so a little trick if you have a ratcheting wrench, sometimes it's hard to get enough um, tension on the bolt to get it to ratchet. So if you got the bolt started, lift up on the part, create some tension, and then you can get the ratchet to work. Tighten up that bolt and tighten up the 10 millimeter nut down here. So now your negative battery cable, just keep it off the side. You don't want to connect it yet. Pull this back down over and there's a there is a little clip right down here make sure that clip goes around the pipe and bring it down into place and make sure you push the positive cable down on and it should snap down into place and push your positive cable on there nice and firm tighten this 10 millimeter nut 13 millimeter bolt and the hold down clamp down into place and start it in. 13 millimeter socket extension and ratchet and tighten that up. Okay, we'll put our cover back on. Just kind of goes straight on, snaps into place. And then if this comes off, you just push it on to the back there and down into place. Now you can um, reconnect your negative cable. You might get some sparks when you do this, it's okay. Push it down on there nice and firm, tighten it up, and then you can test, make sure your battery is good. Put this brace back down into place. It actually goes underneath. in. All right, just get them snug at first. Kind of let them all work their way into the place where they want to be. And then pull them tight. They don't have to be they don't have to be too tight though. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.